Hi guys once again. So today I want to show you our village pathways. These are the roads we used to pass when coming to our village. But nowadays it has developed. We use border borders and there's also a road for cars. So yeah, so much has uh, happened and you see the, our village has developed. There's, there's electricity and like a uh, few years back and you can many people still walk through these pathways and also I've decided to start walking through these pathways because uh, boarding a border border you can get tired at the end of the day because of the bumpy road so so you can sit down and relax and watch as I give you guys a tour of our village pathways I also love this road because not a lot of people pass here during this time, this hour. So during the evening maybe and early in the morning. So now I can vlog comfortably. Yeah, I'm still not that confident, but I'll get there one step at a time, but I'm getting there. Yeah, with this little camera of mine, people don't notice a lot <laughs> you can also enjoy the sounds the nature sounds it's quite peaceful that's why I love walking nowadays This is this, this is how it is. I told you other people have not yet harvested. You can see they are already dry because it's very sunny. No rain, but yeah. We also have bananas. Most of the shambas here you'll find banana trees, maize, napia grass, so a lot of trees. They cut and then they plant, which is very good for the environment. And yeah, it's a uh, noon time. You can see a lot of them here. Yeah, no need of talking much. You'll pass many corners when you come here. You might even get lost if you are new here. So you have to know to have someone. And then around here you'll find many herbs like this they are called Amatoa Bemba Sujimaskiwayangapanya in Kisi <laughs> I'm pronouncing it very badly You can see there's no difference. There are just a lot of corners and the small pathway. Yeah. If someone is coming from the other side, you have to stop and then let the person pass. So yeah. But I would advise someone, even a lady, to pass this 
road alone because many people brew uh, Changa local brew around this area you can see so you'll find a lot of young people so I'd advise not to pass here alone if you are ready Because at night it's very dark. Not most people here have electricity. As you can see, there is also an electricity line, but not most people here can afford electricity. I told you there are a lot of herbal medicine. I can familiarize with some, but for oh. So guys, don't mind my breathing, but it is a, there are hills here, up and down, so I have to breathe like this, and I'm not that fit. That's where I've been from. There's a lot of diversions. There's another one here, another one up there, and down here. I remember this. <coughs> I'm wearing this. Um, I'm almost at the Boba Market. I know I'm almost done with the hills. Like this is the last hill from the parking. Many people fence their compounds with Kayaba. I'm done with the pathways. That's our shortcut. In Kisi, we'll find a lot of shambas with tea leaves like this. You can see many people at the shamba now picking tea leaves. And at that corner, that will be the end of our pathway that leads to home. So the other one, you can see the wider road, that is the one that leads to our home using a border border or a car. And then you pass over there. Yeah. I think I'll stop from here and then... So this field is for that primary school. I see that's where I'm from. I've passed from. That's my school. So guys, this is the Kebaba Primary School. You can hear kids learning. So this is the entrance. So guys, here at Kebuba, it's a little market also, but it's bigger than our place. And here you'll find many shops. Some have pen salons, kinyozi, and there's also butchery. So there's a lot of things. Some of them may sell maize. You see. is over there. Here it's a little market but they don't have market today. 
because Kembu is near, the market is near. Yeah. This road leads to Gachuma. You can see this sign. When you see this sign, when you reach here, <sighs> see Kiboba. Tiangendi. Hmm? And this way, it's to Kiboba. This look. So this is called Kiboba Yachini. The other one that we have passed is Kiboba Yaju. So this is near. Hmm. Near what? Near Kiumbo Market. You see when there is a clinic there. So. <sighs> so this is a chip's office. So today let's go and see how our shop is. It's very old and it really needs a very good renovation everywhere. So let's go and see inside how it is. The one that is next is Chief's office. It's a government plot and yeah, you can see how it is. It's a good property but it's still sleeping. So yeah. So guys, I will leave it from here. Hope you enjoyed the our village pathways and our roads and see you on the next one and please comment on the uh, comment section below and tell me what type of videos or kind of videos you'd love for me to do so see you and bye have a lovely weekend ahead and blessed one too so bye bye for now. Okay, it's a good place for.